the designer here in order to show what's referred to as a concept plan where boat caravan parking clothesline lawn and so on easement and entertainment area are stamped into and on top of the design and a similar layout showing just the planting with a whole lot of um, codes indicating the species that are going to be placed in here what this designer has done is copy the, the design so he's made one copy of the design here and added the labels the, the hardscaping element labels and he's copied the design across here and let's zoom in on it where you can see the the planting so when one double clicks inside the floating viewport here let me zoom out a bit we go to this particular layout let's display it on the screen and then we'll go to the planting layer and we'll double click in there again and then I'll zoom out can you see we're now pointing at a different layout he's actually got a third layout here let's display on there and we'll return to model space so I think you can you can see that that's trebling the file size of this drawing so if I widen my command area a little and type the FS shortcut that's nearly three megabytes in size and, and I think we can use a technique in GK plus here to dramatically reduce that file size what we're going to what I'm going to try and show you is that you can use layer options in the floating viewport itself so in the concept here if I select the floating viewport and right click you've got an opportunity to change the visibility of viewport layers so here's here's our layer list now of all the layers in this drawing and we can lock them hide them and so on so what i'm going to try and demonstrate is that we could dramatically simplify this drawing so the aim is to have all the information on one layout drawing and then we'll apply different layer visibilities in layout to get what we're after and our aim will be to remove everything on the right hand side where we had the plant labeling so what i've done is copy the plant labels from the layout on the right there layout's not a good term for the design on the right and copy them carefully over here so this particular part of the model space has all the information in it that we want so let's see if we can set the layer visibility now in layout let's pick this layer here and we can right click and now go to viewport layers so what we want to do this designer has put the concept information on a label called concept and the planting on a, la on a, on a layer called labels so if we can scroll down here to labels there it is there and we can click that there that will turn layer label visibility off so we can say OK and can you see now let me just unselect all now we have our layout showing the concept area and the same now will apply to if we go to our planting layer can you see that both concept and planting now show so what we want to do is again do the reverse select this floating viewport and what have I done I want to be able to get at that floating viewport and go to the viewport layers this time I want to turn off the concept layer so L concept and turn it off and OK that and magically everything disappears so now if we unselect all and and return there's our model we can now cheerfully remove all of this and we've simplified things markedly so if we go to our concept there's the correct labeling showing and here is the planting showing this has the considerable advantage that if you want to change any of the design you just have to change the design working here 
and what I'm in the process of doing is just um, developing, I'm going to develop a 3D model of this area through here. So I've actually been simplifying things in that zone. So um, the same will apply over here. Some of, the, I notice some of these areas in here are filled and so let me just delete that and then pick this one. See there's a, a group the designers used a, a block which is a good idea but I want to re remove the, the fill in there. I'll explode those and now I think I should be able to oh there's a there's a double overlay there were two blocks one on top of the other so I can do some considerable um, sim um, simplification of this area in here that's not the one I wanted I think now if I take one of these here I can delete that one that still leaves and delete that one you can see I'm simplifying things in that paved area and when I go back to both the concept drawing and there it is over there and in the planting drawing the changes that's interesting uh, and I need to investigate that even more because that little change I made has achieved what I want through here and I'm pleased about that but I'd have to admit that was accidental so if I come back here to the model it shows in here as those show as filled and I'm not quite sure why in the planting one we see this effect I'll double click there that looks to be correct and I'll display on the layer and come back in here there's a bit of a puzzle to me and I think I need to look at that to see quite why that happened but I do digress hopefully you can see that we can reduce file size now we were nearly three megabytes previously let me go file and save file and close and reopen the last of those you might notice quickly then that there was an underscore there um, because we've been using the green plus sign to make backup copies as we work along here just while I'm at it let me look at planting again no that's that's certainly an interesting thing I suspect that the, that what's happened here is that some of that field area here is on a on a layer that we've now turned off it's a layer paving there uh, and still a layer paving would almost appear that can't be the case I'm puzzled so I now need to um, just check the file size so FS here and we've come down from nearly 3 megabytes to 2.3 megabytes that's a substantial saving so I hope this one has helped it's left us with a conundrum but I hope it's helped a little well I've had a little more time to look at that conundrum and what I'm going to do is use tools and isolate layer because the only layer that we turned off in that layout was con the concept layer and let's isolate that concept layer and straight away you can see that all of these objects through here are on that layer we need to move them away and put them on the same layer as was used in the front entrance so if I now go back here and turn all use layers on and OK that we can there's our planting layer and I'll unselect all at some future time I'll get in and edit and move those objects onto the correct layer There's, there must be some uh, some overlap because clearly these the, these um, empty ones are on a layer that shows that the, there's some part of this design so I suspect an awful lot of um, file space is being taken up by duplicates in this paving area here.